Don't touch that, or do, it's your life. The world's most dangerous chemicals represent a significant risk to human health and the environment. While many of these chemicals are used in industry and everyday products, it's essential to be aware of their potential dangers and to take steps to minimal exposure. Of course, some of these substances you've probably already heard of, but if some, you may not have. Hi, my name is Jessa. We're gonna look at the top 10 deadly substances you should never touch. Number 10, cyanide. Cyanide is known for its highly toxicity, and this toxicity is primarily due to the ability of cyanide ions to interfere with cellular respirations, preventing cells from using oxygen. This distribution can lead to rapid and severe health effects, as cyanide can be found naturally in certain plants, such as almonds, as well as various industrial processes. It is produced in large quantities for industrial applications, including gold and silver mining, metal plating, and the production of plastics and chemicals. Systems of cyanide poisoning can include headaches, dizziness, confusion, nausea, vomiting, rapid breathing, and loss of consciousness. Severe exposure can lead to respiratory failure and death within minutes as due to its toxicity and potential for misuse, cyanide is subject to strict regulations and the handling and storage and disposal of cyanide-containing substances are carefully controlled to prevent environmental contamination and harm to human health. Number 9. Arsenic Arsenic is also a potent poison and chronic exposure to elevating levels can lead to various health problems including skin lesions, respiratory issues, cardiovascular diseases, and an increase in risk of certain cancer. An acute arsenic poisoning can result from the ingestion of large amount of arsenic. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and in severe cases, it can just be fatal. Chronic exposure to lower levels of overextended period is associated with long-term health effects. Due to its toxicity, arsenic is regulated in various contexts, including drinking water standards set by regulatory agencies. Efforts are made to limit exposure to arsenic in both occupational and environmental settings. But then again, even though this is a toxic substance, it has been used in medicine for certain medical conditions, including some of forms of cancer. These applications are carefully controlled and arsenic is not used as a first-line treatment, but research is still in the process of its effect. Number 8. Ricin Ricin is a highly toxic protein that is extracted from the seeds of the castor oil plant. Ricin is considered one of the most potent natural occurring toxins as it works by inhibiting protein synthesis within cells leading to cell death. Ricin is extremely toxic with the potential of causing severe illnesses or of course death, as the toxicity of ricin is primarily due to its ability to disrupt protein synthesis within cells leading to, of course, the cell death. Ricin enters cells and inhibit the Productions of proteins by interfering with the cell's ribosomes, which are essential of protein synthesis. The lethal dose of ricins can be very small, leading and making it a potent toxin. Ingesting or inhaling even a small amount of ricin can be fatal. Ricin can be ingested, inhaled, or injected, but while ingestion is a common route, inhalation has caused more of potent means of exposure as ricin can be rapidly absorbed through the respiratory system. Due to its high toxicity, ricin has been considered a potent bioweapon. However, the challenges associated with weaponizing and delivering ricin limits is practically use as a weapon. Number 7. Lead Lead is toxic to humans, especially to children and pregnant women and developing fetuses. Exposure to lead can lead to serious health problems, including development delays, learning disabilities, and neurological damage. Even low levels of lead exposure can have harmful effects, as lead poisoning occurs when lead builds up in the body over time. Symptoms can include abdominal pain, constipation, fatigue, irritability, and in severe cases, seizure and coma. Chronic exposure to low levels of lead can also lead to long-term health issues, as lead and leach into drinking water from lead lead pipes, plumbing fixtures, and solder. Testing and remediation of lead in drinking water are important to ensure safe water supplies. As an example, of course, though, as I mentioned on this channel, Flint, Michigan is still suffering from lead poisoning in their pipes since 2014. And although some of the issues have been addressed, there are still rises in lead in 2021, which concluded a huge mistrust of the civilians and citizens of Flint, Michigan against their government, who lacks the urgency for their water. Number 6. Mercury Mercury is unique among metals for being liquid at room temperature, as this characteristic along with its high density, makes it useful in certain applications. Mercury and its compounds are highly toxic to humans, and exposure to mercury can occur during inhalation of vapors, ingestion of contaminated food or water, or skin contact. The central nervous system is particularly sensitive to mercury poisoning, as the mercury poisoning can lead to a range of health effects, including neurological and development issues, kidney damage, and cardiovascular problems. Fetuses and young children are especially vulnerable to the toxic effects of mercury, and mercury in usage in cosmetics, as an example, has been used in time, and has been extremely noted for its violent effects. But unfortunately, there are still cosmetics like in the whitening skin industry where it's worth over $14 billion in revenue around the world. Products tested in a variety of countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, and North America have contained up to 40,000 parts per million, extremely over the legal limit of mercury. Number 5. Polonium-210 Polonium-210 is a radioactive isotope of element polonium, and its highly toxic substance had gained notoriety due to association with the poisoning of individuals, most notably the case of Russian descendant Alexander Levinsko in 2006. Polonium 
Gelonium 210 has a relatively short half life of about 138 days. This means that over time, half of given the quantity of polonium 210 will undergo radioactive decay. Due to its radioactivity and toxicity, exposure to polonium 210 poses a significant health risk. Ingesting or inhaling can even a small amount of polonium 210 can lead to radiation damage to internal organs. While polonium 210 has a legitimate use in specific scientific and industrial applications, it's extremely toxic and potential for its misuse makes it a substance of concern. Strict controls and regulations are in place to prevent unauthorized access to polonium 210, and its monitor is in use in various industries. Number four, asbestos. Asbestos fibers are known for their durability, flexibility, and resistance to heat, fire, and chemicals. These properties made of asbestos attractive for those in various products, especially in the construction and manufacturing industries. Inhalation of asbestos fibers poses serious health risks. Prolonged exposure to asbestos can lead to lung disease, including asbestosis, scarring of the lung tissue, lung cancer, and methylomia as a rare aggressive cancer affecting the lining of the lungs or abdomen. The health effects may not manifest until many years after the exposure, though, as asbestos-related diseases have led to numerous legal actions, including lawsuits against companies that manufactured or use asbestos-containing products. Compensation may be sought for individuals who have developed asbestos-related diseases due to occupational or environmental exposure. Number three, Agent Orange. The vile war in Vietnam was brutal as the spread of violence echoed throughout each neighboring village. Agent Orange is a highly toxic chemical herbicide used by the United States as part of their onslaught against the Vietnamese. According to the US, they state it was an herbicide to specifically clear vegetation in the dense forests and jungles of Vietnam, as well as in the neighboring countries like Laos and Cambodia. Due to the fact American forces were having difficulty finding Vietnamese troops in the forest, they choose to use this highly toxic chemical that not only destroyed their ecosystem, but caused tremendous health issues in the civilians that were caught in between the line of fire. Military personnel on both ends had experienced a long range of health issues, including various skin conditions, cancers, neurological disorders, as well as for the women in Vietnam, experienced birth defects and miscarriages, as there was a significant number of birth defects in their offspring. 2.18 million gallons of Agent Orange was used in Vietnam, and even though there had been multiple addresses in the United States' reckless decision on using toxic gases, the Dow Chemical Company, who sold the herbicide to the military, denied all liability and said no danger to human health. And like all injustices, the Circuit Court of Appeals dismisses the suit. Sure, some of the US veterans and their families got some compensation, and they still carry many mental health issues like PTSD. As for the Vietnamese, the ones who lands who were destroyed by the US to this day, there are still trees that won't grow back. Number two, Siren. Siren is a highly potent nerve agent that will kill inexposed victims in less than 10 minutes. It kills you through suffocation as your lung muscles become paralyzed due to inhalation, and even a small drop of sarin on the skin can cause sweating and muscle twitching where it touched the skin. Exposure to large doses of sarin by any route would likely result in the following harmful health effects, loss of consciousness, cardiac arrest, possibly leading to death, as sarin is widely considered a potential weapon of mass destruction by many authorities. In April 1988, sarin was actually used four times against Iranian soldiers at the end of the Iraq War, helping Iraqi forces to retake control of the Al Fa Peninsula during the Second Battle of Al Fa. By some perspective, siren is 25 to 50 times more toxic than cyanide, and to this day, and to this end, its production and stockpiling were wholly outlawed by the Chemical Weapons and Conventions of 1993, and is classified as Schedule 1 substance. Number 1, VX Nerve Agent. I have may brought up this substance before on this channel, but to me, this is still a very dangerous substance. VX is an aragano phosphorus compound with the systematic name of 0 ethyl S. 2-disoprofilaminoethyl. Methanol phosphonothioate, VX, is extremely toxic, and exposure can lead to rapid and severe health effects. It works by inhibiting the activity of a selatin colon esterase, an enzyme that plays a crucial role in the transmission of nerve signals. VX is typically a colorless or to amber colored liquid, and it can also exist in vapor form. Its vapor is heavier than the air, and VX, like other nerve agents, disrupt the normal functionings of the nervous system by inhibiting the breakdown of acetylcholine. The accumulation of acetyl choline add nerve aging endings lead to continuous stimulation of muscle and glands, resulting in paralysis and ultimately respiratory failure. The synthesis of VX involves a complex chemical process, and the production of nerve agents, including VX, is subject to strict international controls under the Chemical Weapons Convention. VX had not been widely used in military conflicts, but its deadly potential has been a focus of major concern. Well, that's all for today. Hope you learned something, and if you knew some of these substances already, then I'm proud of you. It means you're learning. Be sure to like and subscribe, and don't be an evil scientist or something. All the best. Just.